DEFRA are now going ahead with the culls, but the science tells us not to do it. There was a 10-year study, the Krebs report, the government spent 50 million on the science and yet they're ignoring the science totally. If there was ever a vote in the UK of everybody about the Badger Cull, it would be a resounding no. I think 70, 80% of people would say, don't cull. Now the governments are in power for the people. They're not listening to the people on this occasion. Well, we've got the Badger Cubs with us today as well, Martin, which is really good. The sad thing about this whole cull is that there will be young badgers left in the set, orphan badgers when the parents are killed, they're going to die a very slow, agonising death. So, perhaps very significant today to see youngsters on this march as well. It's incredibly sad, this whole affair has really kicked off. Nobody's seen the common sense of what's going on. Nobody's listened to the science, so we had to resort sadly to a protest march like this. Whether this will make them take sense today, I don't know. But hopefully in time, we will stop this cull going. But to be honest, the leading light behind this entire march and the effort that's been put into it is Brian May. He's done so much to help the Badgers and he will never give up trying. This cull is a cheap, shoddy pig in a poke, offered dishonestly to farmers as a solution to their misery. It will fail and possibly damage farming's relationship with the public forever. This cull cannot even make a significant appearance in bovine TV. Do not believe those claims about Ireland, about New Zealand, about Australia and white-tailed deer, etc. The statistics have been massaged to produce the answer they want. Culling of wildlife <coughs> has never eradicated TB in any country of the world. We offer a solution, vaccination, and we're already cooperating in community-led vaccination schemes. People of the UK do not let this atrocity happen. How can you help? Please write to your MP tonight. Write to him on paper with a pen. Tell him that you require him or her to have the courage to vote against this hideous, wasteful, cruel, and morally bereft cull. Tell him you need him to speak for you and vote against the cull. It now emerges that this cull will cost the taxpayer more than it will save it. So the last evidence, the last reason for culling is gone. And I ask you to stick to our guns. We will have a decent Britain one day, and we will have a Britain in which animals are treated with respect. Thank you. Wednesday will we'll, we'll, we'll sort of get us anywhere further. It could bring some more MPs to get off the fence and really think, oh yes, mm, this is a bad thing for us. Which you know what the MPs want, that's what votes. They think that everyone's here because they think, oh, it's cuddly badges are all nice and cuddly and friendly, but it, it's not. It's because it's the science is against what they want to do. It is insane, isn't it, the whole thing? Yeah. Where is common sense gone? <laughs> Do you think that, that herd management is more vital than people are making out? If the herd's healthy? Yes, absolutely. I've managed one of the highest yielding dairy herds in the world and one of the highest yielding dairy herds in this country. That herd was right in the middle of a hot spot area and I had no problems at all with bovine TB, even though the farms around us just fell like flies to the disease. So there is a distinct management criteria. If you manage cows properly, if you release relieve the stress that they are under, if you use basic biosecurity measures, all these things help prevent bovine TB. I do believe that it's probably the cows that have initially given it to the badgers, and then it's the cows keeping the, the, the disease alive in the, the environment, because if the cow slips through the bovine TB test, unfortunately they infect other members of the herd, and they can go on to infect the environment. Well, the march is over, the marches have dispersed, my first ever protest march. It was quite scary actually, but to sense and hear the passion of all the people on that march did give you encouragement, it did give me encouragement. It's a shame it had to happen and hopefully people will start to take notice of it. The debate on Wednesday might just take us a little bit further towards a satisfactory conclusion. But still loads of people around, it's very busy and I'm going home. Ha <laughs> ha
ます。